just because they may not look like they have a disability or look like there's anything wrong like physically he looks healthy and you wouldn't know if you wouldn't see some of the twitches he does the shaking the waving his hand in his face and the screeching um it shouldn't matter hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel um i actually got myself a little ready i didn't do much I just did a little curl down here and i just threw the top part up because let's face it i didn't want to curl my whole head of hair um, this video is a sit down video. I'm pre-filming purely because um, I kind of wanted to do a four year old update with Bentley. He's currently taking a nap so I'm going to try to get some of the informational stuff out of the way and then I'll bring him on and uh, so you guys can see him because I know you guys love seeing his giggle and his smile and trust me I love it too. So kind of tough all over the place. Um, first I'm going to start out with like health wise he is fine he's good um he has no health issues uh, he has he's not more sick than any other children um i don't know if that's the same with all kids that are autistic or just mine um i try to focus on just my son because i feel like i'm that type of person like if i go look up symptoms after symptoms and i check on all these other people who are autistic and all this stuff i tend to get a little bit a little bit manic and crazy about it and I uh, all of a sudden he has everything in it so I really try not to do that so like while people are very have good intentions uh, my grandma's been like check out this article my brother's giving me books and I'm very grateful and there are books that I will look over I will read articles I will read but it tends to be anything that's kind of personal that it's hard for me to read because then I attach that to what's going to happen to me if it's farther in the future or I freak out he will be entering his second year of preschool. Um, being on an IEP, he was able to attend preschool at three in, our, in the state of Iowa. They, they do three free therapy until two, and then at three they go to preschool. In my circumstance, I don't know about everybody's, he'll be in his second year, and then most likely he will attend alternative kindergarten and then kindergarten. Um, I think the extra year will help him, and to be honest, his birthday's in July, and he's still before the cutoff, so if we keep him back a year, He'll, it'll, he'll be 18 the year of high school instead of 17 the year of high school. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think that'll put him too far behind or anything. He is talking a bit more, I've noticed. Um, babbling, I should say. He's obviously not speaking words yet. Um, he's babbling a lot more. He's using a g sound, which he's never used before. Not responding to my cues if I'm babbling um, or if I try to... Um, or what I try to do is when he babbles, I repeat his babble back or I try to acknowledge what he's saying so he knows that his words have meaning. He does know some sign language. Whether he chooses to initiate it or not is a whole different story. He knows that if I say more, if I grab his elbows and I'm trying to step away from that so that he learns to do it, but if I grab his elbows, he goes like this. He knows more. Um, he knows, um, please because he will want something he's always going around like this um and then i've always used i'm so sorry i've always used all done but he doesn't tend to do that um we have been working on goodbye a lot um i feel like a couple times he's done it and one time i swore he said bye but it's not a consistent basis but he has done it here and there i've noticed that with my child that tends to be it he'll pick up on something but it's not him doing it consistently. It's him doing it here or there randomly when he feels like doing it is the best way I know how to describe it as. So is definitely building more muscle tone, I've noticed. Um, he, so from what I've learned, I think I've explained this in other videos, but from what his doctor had, or not his doctor, when we went to get him, um, diagnosed he had to see a physical therapist as well as an occupational therapist and a psychologist because they're the only ones that can diagnose is it psychologists or so no yeah I think it's a psychologist they're the only ones that can physically diagnose somebody with autism he saw a physical therapist at the same time that we got diagnosed not this last January but the January prior so a year and a half ago they said that he does lack muscle tone in his legs and in his core and even him being in school his teacher has mentioned or noticed that he does lack a lot of muscle in his core we're definitely building that muscle 
Um, there are ways that we do it by laying him on a belly and so he has to use his core to lift his head up um, and it, I hate doing it because I feel like I force him to do things and I feel like it makes you look really weird if somebody were to see me but I hold his butt down and I don't let his butt get up and not for long like I'm talking like two minute intervals tops we're not doing this for like an hour um, but I'll make him do it and he started to do it on his own now sometimes with just his elbows but before he would not sit on his belly for more than two seconds never so that's a big plus. Also, I make him climb in and out of his car seat now, and um, I could tell that it gets him a bit winded, but I feel like that's got, gotten him more muscle in his arms and his legs, mostly. I take him to the dentist twice since I filmed his last um, update. Like, we took him back again in May. Um, end of May, mid-May, somewhere in there, and he, his teeth are all good. Um, I think he has a little stain on one tooth, but other than that, he said the teeth are good, no cavities, no anything, which makes me happy. They say that somebody with autism, especially him being nonverbal, he can't explain that it's hurting, so the best thing is preventative care, so I'm doing everything about it. Um, flossing is still an issue. He will not let me floss. I try. He just bites at it. He's starting to throw a few more fits. I feel like we're getting into terrible fours. Something else like this goes in with fits though, but um, so he's, um, I feel like he's becoming somebody now and, it, and I don't mean it to sound like that because I feel like that sounds like I felt like he wasn't before. I just feel like he's getting more opinions like he doesn't want to do this so he's gonna throw a fit if I say it's ow, if I say it's nap time he like stomps away and he's whining about it and you know what that kind of makes me happy sometimes I'm just like but it makes me happy throwing fits more no okay let me I don't know how to word this so he loves to leave he loves to get in the car he loves to drive he hates going into any store any place any food place any store drive throughs he hates if we go to get ice cream even he likes the after but he hates the drive through we come home he's bawling we come in the house, he's bawling for five minutes, and then he's fine. Um, but it's been getting getting increasingly hard to go grocery shopping or to go get toilet paper or anything. Um, it's been hard. It's been hard because th those are the aspects where it's like I'm a single mom and I'm doing um, everything I can to make him comfortable, make him happy. But he also has to adjust everything can't just be his schedule 99% of it is but I have to get groceries and I have to get groceries and I have nobody to watch him so he has to go with me um yeah um he is playing more with others um he still does prefer to be by himself and alone but he is playing more with others I've noticed so that makes me happy he still prefers just to chase them and have him have them chase him and him chase them but He's still wanting to be around others more. He does have its moments where he wants to go into his own world and then I try to bring him back, but sometimes I do give him that space because I don't want him to negatively think being with other people is a bad thing. And I feel like if I'm constantly making him and he's upset, it's gonna make him think I don't wanna do that. Oh, something I should have mentioned earlier. Um, some, I had a misconception with autism thinking like, I don't know, maybe he'd be at the doctor more. But we don't have extra doctor visits due to him being autistic. Um, this might be just my insurance, but we don't have special appointments we have to go to. We just go to his regular checkup. I guess unless they'd be concerned, they would refer me and send me. But on a typical basis, we don't. Basically, we see his teacher. Um, he has a speech therapist in school. Oh, I am definitely having to... So this goes with the throwing fits should have mentioned earlier I'm definitely having to say no more um he is definitely listening to me say no whether he l does what I say or not he definitely um 75 percent of the time addresses when I say no he'll at least look at me or stop and either continue to do it or not do it no spanking most of the punishment is is time out on my lap for like a minute I don't even do the full age thing uh, he's definitely super affectionate. Um, I think you saw in the last update I did, which was three and a half, I believe. Um, I know he wasn't. It was he was over three, um, but he's become a lot more affectionate, hugging, giving me kisses a lot, coming up to me, and sometimes when he just wants to be heard, acknowledged, or something, he will grab my face, not shake my face, but like get my attention and then shake his head and like stare at me so I know he's just trying to get my attention and, and and he's frustrated because he can't speak or he can't say and I have no clue what he wants or needs 
um, but he's definitely getting my attention more, being more affectionate, even more than before. Um, so those make me very happy. Um, he doesn't throw a lot of temper tantrums. He does whine, but he's not full out throwing temper tantrums. Um, and one thing before I just get into his food and then I'll be done with this update. Um, I don't know if it's his autism or if it's just, he does have eczema, so I don't know if it's that. Um, so I don't know if it's autism, eczema, age, probably not his age, but I don't know. Um, he scratches himself a lot, um, to the point where, um, if he's got a scab, he'll pick it and it'll bleed and he doesn't know any pain. He very much lacks that awareness of pain unless it's really, really bad or scary. If it's minute, where sometimes kids will cry, like nothing, nothing. He's not going to whine or cry. If he scratches himself and there's a little, like a little scratch, he's not gonna whine or cry. He'll like rub at it and acknowledge it, but that's it. Um, but he loves scratching at himself. And so sometimes if you see him in full on pajamas with the feet, it's because he scratches at his feet, he scratches at his ankles, he scratches at his arms. So I will have that on and he doesn't do it. And then he puts his hands at his diaper still. I don't know really how to go around it. I'm looking for bigger size onesies or yeah, onesies to wear under his clothes so that he can't get in his diaper. One thing is I don't have him, I believe it's ABA therapy I don't have him in that type of therapy yet he's still super young um to do it it's like three four hours for him to do it in ABA and then he's in school um I think it's like a three hour session session at the place that we have here in my local area um and it's just I think we're gonna get him signed up here pretty soon because there's about a year wait list um but last year we didn't because it was his first year of preschool we knew it was going to be a lot for him um, to handle and everything. Um, it's just, it's a lot to get used to. And I feel like I don't want to put too much on him because I don't want him to pull back or shut down. And that might just be my fears. But I really want to find some sort of music therapy because he loves music. Loves when you sing to him anything that's kind of got like a catchy tune like the wheels on the bus twinkle twinkle little star stuff like that i really want to get him in music therapy i think his, his teacher told me that he would absolutely love it because he loves music um and then maybe some other therapy obviously um i'm getting help currently in the financial aspect i am in life so i only have limited options but hopefully i'll be graduating with my degree here pretty soon and getting a job that fits me and um doing what i love so i can keep you guys updated do the job that i love that i'm going to college for i love working with people so that's why i'm getting my human resource degree the last two things i want to touch on is just kind of like his food um he doesn't really have any aversions for food i would say um he is definitely afraid to try foods if he doesn't specifically recognize him and there's only a few that he like recognizes so much that he'll go in and just eat like um pizza sandwiches mainly of any kind lunch meat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches he tends to be fine with um chips but sometimes like i said i have to force him to try a bite um, I just make him try a bite and then he'll be fine and he'll want to eat more. So he's not super picky. Um, it's I know some people whose kids have food aversions and they eat literally two things. Not my case. He eats a lot of different variety. Made zucchini last night for dinner. He ate the whole thing of zucchini. He ate the smoked pork chop. Um, he didn't love it, but he ate it. And he ate the green beans, um, the green bean casserole. So, yeah. Um... Weight wise, I think he weighs about 42 to 44 pounds, anything like that. I really try to watch his his um, food intake because he can't tell me he's full. So I have to be mindful of that. Um, I think that's also one thing that when you're when you're talking about kids that are nonverbal, like this isn't discussed and you don't even think about it. But you don't he can't say I'm hungry. He can't say I'm full. He can't say this is too hot. So it's almost like a guessing game. So like when he, there are babies and you have a baby and you're trying to figure out what's wrong, it is literally like that until he's like four. I still give him a nap. That's another thing. I still give him a nap um, because I feel like he sleeps better when he naps. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate a little hello. I really appreciate any views I get. I really do love 
sharing my journey because I'm hoping I can come across other people who may experience the same things I experience or the same concerns or you know what even maybe give some insight to people that don't know anything about autism as I didn't prior to my son. I just took the trash out and guess who woke up right when I came back in? Yeah. Can you say hi? No. Azaza. Can you say mama? Bentley, look up here. Bentley. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> what are you doing? High five. Yeah, good job. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Yeah, you just woke up, huh? Are you hungry? <laughs> you want a bite? Oh, I spoke your favorite word. Bite. Do you want munch or do you want a snack? His back is so hairy. Let's see if I can show you guys this. I don't know if you can see that. He gets that from me. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? One more. You want food? Oh, he's done. All right, so this is a little bit that you give of him in this video. You say bye-bye? No, that doesn't mean we're going bye-bye. He, oh, he's gonna go to the door. Can you say bye? Giddy up, 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 Not today? All right, I'm gonna continue to work and get his boy some food. I still get stares at stores when he's screaming and crying and I can't calm him down and I'm just living my life and I'm getting my groceries because I have no other choice. I can't take my kid out, have him relax and go back in because the going back in is what's causing him to cry. So um, I just try to keep my head held high. I don't try to give dirty looks to people because I don't want people to give um, a negative view on anything. And I know that might just me being a pushover, guilty of it. But if somebody asks me, um, or if they try to talk to him and they don't talk back, I kind of just explain, oh yeah, like he can't talk yet. Um, he's autistic and um, you know what? Normally I feel like somebody feels like they feel when they get caught with their pants hanging down and they'll be like, oh. But I just hope maybe I can preach a level of acceptance that when you know somebody's disabled, you should treat people that you don't know if they are as well. Um, I guess that's a message I want to get across to anybody I can reach. Just because they may not look like they have a disability or look like there's anything wrong, like physically he looks healthy and you wouldn't know if you wouldn't see some of the twitches he does, the shaking, the waving his hand in his face and the screeching. Um, it shouldn't matter. You shouldn't look at my son throwing a fit and think anything at all. Just my tip for you for the day. I know I said goodbye earlier, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and we will see you later, alligator. Bye.